Decision making is a constant part of our life. Whenever we move to a complex environment, when we stand in front of a supermarket shelf filled with products, we have to take in sensory information, we have to pick the relevant information, match it to our goals and our efforts and come up with the appropriate decision. This is the same that happens if you are an animal moving through the forest and have to evade obstacles or search for food. So in that sense, studying animals and studying humans gives us different views of the same problem. The researchers at the German Primate Center in Göttingen are looking at the brain and its functions at different levels of detail. The activity of single neurons and also activation patterns of entire brain regions are studied in rhesus monkeys with electrophysiology and with imaging methods. These results are compared to activation patterns in humans. Behavioral responses during cognitive and visual motor tasks are caused by local and global changes in brain activity. This is the basis of understanding how decisions and actions are made. A major challenge in decision making for an organism is to decide about how to select information from the incoming stream of information based on the current situation, based on the task that the animal or the organism is trying to solve, based on the cost and benefits, and then select that information for future action. Our interest in research is to find out how our brain enables us to do the selection process with knowledge of all the other factors that influence our decision making. And, uh, and Electrophysiological microelectro techniques enable measurement of the activity of several single neurons from a specific brain region, while the monkey solves cognitive and visual motor decision tasks. The target brain regions are identified using imaging. The rattling sound in the background acoustically represents the firing of a neuron. Its firing can be recorded with high spatial and temporal resolution in the range of milliseconds. The scientists also record the animal's eye movements, hand movements and task results and correlate these with the neurons firing. The construction of the, of the head and the recording chambers. In these experiments we are trying to understand the neural basis of uh, flexible adaptive decision making and eye-hand coordination. We are recording activity of single neurons and neuronal populations in multiple subcortical and cortical areas, and we're trying to understand how these uh, activity patterns are encoding the actions and decisions which are made with eyes or with hands. A rhesus monkey enters a specially designed chair and is brought to an MRI machine. In this experiment, a visual task is presented on a projector screen. Monkey Bacchus can solve it with eye movements. If he does it correctly, he is rewarded with banana juice. While Bacchus performs the task, the MRI measures his brain activity. Using functional imaging, the scientists look at the entire brain during the task. In combination with deactivation or stimulation of specific regions, the researchers study how such manipulations cause changes in brain networks. The combination of imaging and electrophysiology provides a complementary global view to precise local measures. A big step forward. So what we're interested in as our primary goal is to understand how a healthy human and how a healthy animal brain works in achieving this incredibly flexible and adaptive process of decision making, a core feature in our everyday life. Once we have achieved this primary goal, we can approach our ultimate goal, which is to learn how dysfunctions of the brain explain diseases, and by explaining the diseases in humans and in animals, we might be able to also progress in terms of medical benefits. <laughs>